activity outside. First part you might be able to do inside while we're putting together our bubble concoction. All right so you're going to need some ingredients. You're going to need for your bubbles light corn syrup and some dishwashing soap. You're going to need some cups to measure out and you're also going to need a bowl to mix it all in. The other things you're going to need are two sticks and some twine. Make sure your twine is nice and smooth. I tried yarn. It didn't work as well, but it is doable. Um, but the twine made much better bubbles. All right, so here we go. Okay, so we're going to start off making our bubble wand. You're going to take your twine and you're going to measure it out. I'd probably do about one of your own arm lengths part. And we're just going to cut it. You don't want to get too carried away. It does make pretty big bubbles, but let's not get too carried away. Then you're going to take one stick, just tie it around towards the top in a nice knot. Then I'm going to take my second stick, just a little ways. Make sure I leave enough at the end because I want to finish off my circle. So I'm going to take this side and I'm going to tie it in another knot here. Make sure it's at the top of your, your stick. Ta -da! Then you're going to finish off your circle by tying this end to this end. And if you think your circle is too big, go ahead and make it smaller at this point. Ah. Having trouble tying knots today. There we go. All right, I'm going to trim off a little bit of that ink. And now I have my bubble wand. There you go. All right. Okay, so now we're going to make our bubble mix. First, let's measure one fourth cup of light corn syrup, one fourth cup, and we're going to pour it in our bowl. Then, we're going to take a half a cup of our Dawn, I'm using Dawn, but any uh, dish soap will work, and I'm going to mix it in with it. Alright, now I don't have anything to mix it with, so I'm just going to use my finger. Da -da -da. So the next thing we're going to do is take our string, get it nice and wet in our solution. Let it soak it up. All right, now the next thing you want to do is also make sure that you are <gasps> out in a nice area where you're not going where you can easily clean up your mess. 